Tyson Kidd was nothing but Vicky says, as champion, you have to be ready to accept any challenge. Tonight's match will prove if you are ready for that. Well, we're going to find out. This is my career in 2K15. So our big opponent is Fandango, really? Vicky said we had to be ready for anything but Fandango. I mean, my God, the dude comes out dancing and waving his fingers and arms. The only thing I really care about is Summer Rae because, let's be honest, Summer Rae is pretty gorgeous, and I thought she did a great job in Marine 4, but that's where the props end because Fandango is about to get ended here in my career. I want to thank you guys for uh, being patient with this series. I, I am back with it. Um, this Tubby is just kind of taking a break to work on some other stuff and his character development. Uh, he's been away. Let's just call it an injury break and let's just say he's back now. Hopefully he doesn't go in a Terra Quad again like Kevin Nash. If this match is at all successful, is uh, Fandango going for a pin on the outside already? This match is false count anywhere. I don't know why. I would be facing this jabroni in a Falls Count Anywhere match. What does he deserve? What has he earned to deserve a match against the Great One, especially a Falls Count Anywhere, a no DQ, anything goes match against me? The title's not even on the line. This is just Fandango getting a shot against me. Maybe he's in bed with Vicky Guerrero. Maybe him, Summer Rae, and Fandango are having a threesome. I don't know personally, but there is no reason this guy should be in the ring with me. As you can see, he's going for my favorite weapon. Eat, cheat, sleep, repeat. Going for that chair, and uh, there it is. We're going to use it against him. Big DDT on the chair. Referee, wait, what are you doing? Tubimo going for another weapon under the ring. And I, I will tell you guys that uh, Tubby's development is going to change quite a bit here down in uh, my career. I, I have the pleasure of being all the way up to uh, SmackDown, and I know what's coming. And I know the fact that my character has a right to be cocky. Because let's be honest here. Tubby Emu down here wasting his time in NXT doesn't do anybody any good. I am not making the company any money getting sent back to face guys like Fandango down here in NXT or superstars. I need to be on the main roster. Tubby Emu is the main caliber talent. As you can see, Fandango trying to... Uh, bring it to me. I'm not taking him very serious in this match because, let's be honest, I don't think Fandango has deserved to face me in this in this contest because if Fandango, let's say Fandango were to beat me here. Let's say in the off shot that Fandango were to win. Is Vicky Guerrero really going to give this guy a shot at the NXT title? Let's be honest. He probably deserves to be down in NXT. I don't think he deserves to be on the main roster. Maybe if Vicky sends him back to NXT with the NXT title, he would fit in better. Maybe he would do more, and he would uh, benefit more in front of a, a, a smaller audience because so far he used to be over, and now he's just kind of failed. His tubby was running off the ropes. Big splash on Fun Dango here as we have weapons everywhere. Tubby, what are you doing? Tubby was going to the uh, second rope from the corner, going for that big splash, but Fun Dango. Had that move scouted, and now he's got those steel steps. And he nails Tubby Emu right in the face with those steel steps. And Tubby Emu has no choice but to retreat out a little bit. And then Fandango throws those steel steps on top of us. So Fandango, this may be a new Fandango. Maybe I uh, rush to judge him in this match because so far he is coming out swinging, using weapons, doing whatever he can. And uh, that's the sad thing. People need a, an advantage or whatever they can. And Tubby Emu's head just smashed off of those steel steps. And Fandango in full control. Could that be at one? No, Tubby Emu able to kick out at one. As uh, Fandango trying to maybe showing a different side. Maybe this is a Fandango we've never seen before. Because so far, I don't think I've recognized. Big DDT on those steel steps on the outside. That has got to be it. Tubby Emu going for the pin. One, two. And no, Fondango was able to kick out at two. But uh, that big swinging DDT, I thought that might have been over there with the false count anywhere match. The only way to win this match is by pinfall or submission. There are no count outs. There are no DQs. Tubby Emu uh, can pin him outside the ring, can pin him inside the ring, can pin him on the ramp. 
Heck, I could put him in the crowd if I could actually get in there as Fondango. Taking a, a little too much time there. He should have stayed right on top of Tubby Emu. He should have capitalized even more. But uh, slowing it down just a little bit there and uh, trying to regain some of his momentum as uh, Fondango is in full control as Tubby Emu gets sent back into the ring. Fondango with a huge elbow shot. I think the table is blocking him there from getting back in the ring. He's just walking, walking, walking. I think uh, he's Fandango walking. Christopher walking. I was going to make a joke, but Fandango is really no joke right now. Tubby Emu is reeling. Can Tubby Emu rebound here as Fandango from behind? Tubby Emu has done absolutely nothing in this match. Fandango, as Tubby Emu has got to roll out of the way and try to get something going. And he nails Fandango with the, uh, the table there. Is this the turning point of the match? Is Tubby Emu finally able to? You can see he's got pretty much no health, no stamina left. He uh, was caught by surprise here in this match by Fondango. I don't think he was ready for a, a, a talent of this caliber, such as Fondango. And I never thought I would say that. A talent is going for the pin on top of that table. No, Tubby Emu able to kick out at one. His head careened off of that table as Fondango. He hits the big running high knee. That's it. That signals it's over. He hits the big running high knee. But no, Fandango out of nowhere. Fandango out of nowhere just hit his finisher. One, two, three. The NXT champion has been pinned. The man he gave no shot to goes down to NXT. And he Fandangos his way possibly into a title opportunity. So uh, you can see an amazing match according to the universe. You're the NXT champion. What a joke. I barely feel like I beat a champion. Well, we're going to find out because Vicky Guerrero says we face him in a championship match, and that is next. Well, all right, here we go. So apparently we, Fandango gets a championship opportunity. He did pin us one, two, three. Tubby Emu is a big enough man to admit, and yes, not just size and stature, but as a champion that he was beat. Fondango was the better man that night. Although Fondango still is a piece of crap who needs Summer Rae to be relevant in the slightest. And I'm going to I'm going to prove tonight why I am the NXT champion, why I am the man and I will not be taking him for granted here tonight as Tubby Moo locks up as a little bit of chain wrestling to get the match going. Tubby Moo spinning around back. He's got Fondango in an armbar. Fondango, though, able to reverse out of it. He's got me locking up now. Tubby Emu, nope, Fondango able to push him off. As uh, these two go at it again, Tubby Emu able to reverse it. Now, beat me once, shame on me. Beat me twice, shame on you. F fool you three times, I'm I'm going to beat you with a fucking shoe. That's just, that, that's my that's my motto. Lose once, lose twice. I'm just going to beat you with a fucking shoe as uh, Tubby Emu. So far, I have to be honest with you, I think Fondango is kind of showing a new side to himself. I'm not trying to put him over Paul Heyman style like Roman Reigns, but I'm just saying this is not a Fondango I think we've ever seen before. This is not the one we scouted. We were expecting a dancing go lucky, not really caring about anything as Tubby Emu hits a big leg drop on the outside there. Apparently we went to a WWE Network commercial as uh, we jumped ahead a little bit in this match. As Fondango trying to bring it. He's already got a finisher. He's already lined up, ready to get something going. If you want to see the exclusive footage, you can watch it on my... No, I just I just cut it out. I had to. As uh, Tubby Emu taking time to celebrate. Now, this match is not a no DQ. The last time they faced, there was no DQs. There was no pinfalls. There was there was no pinfalls. There was pinfalls and submissions only. There were no countouts. There were no DQs. This match, as Tubby Emu going to cheat already, but no, Fondango able to stop it. Tubby Emu trying to get a cheating victory. Eat, cheat, sleep, repeat. It doesn't matter when the title's on the line. Fondango looking to end it. There it is, your new NXT champion, but no. Tubby Emu able to stop it. As goes for a big boot, Fondango catches him, but Tubby reverses it. Nice sequence there, but Fondango turns around and nails him. And then Tubby with a reversal. So good sequence here. Tubby Emu had him scouted pretty well there. As a huge leg drop on Fondango. Tubby is already weak. He's still battered and bruised from last week as he tries to recoup a little bit. Fondango, though, going to send him in the corner. The referee got rid of that chair. Referee, you don't touch my damn chair, man. Let me be. As Fondango throwing him into the outside, 
Big drop kick. Tubby Emu goes flying to the outside. And Tubby Emu is reeling as Fandango is on the offensive. Going to grab Tubby Emu. The NXT title is on the line. Tubby Emu has defended it a couple times before. He is, uh, was on a winning streak before Fandango came along. Fandango came along. Cost him. Beat him. And uh, beat him with that move out of nowhere that Tubby Emu was not expecting. And there's a move that I don't think Fandango was expecting. Face first goes Fandango as the referee's count goes. But wait, what is Tubby doing? Fandango's out there. The referee is distracted. Tubby Emu is looking for that chair. Tubby Emu looking for that chair as uh, he realizes the referee threw it out. That is not in the position it was. And now Fandango is trying to pursue him. Tubby Emu going for a big shot. He was going for a haymaker. But Fandango is able to get out of the way on the outside. Tubby Emu. Tubby Emu nails a Tubinator on the outside. Tubby Emu has just laid Fandango out. And is he going for a count out victory? As you can see, Fandango is laid out. The referee at a count of, I think, what is that, a seven count? There from the referee. As Tubby Emu taking time to celebrate. And he's going to retain. Referee at a count of eight, but no. Fandango able to get back in at a count of eight. Tubby Emu, big power bomb off the ropes. As you can see, Tubby Emu is absolutely fired up. I don't think we've seen Tubby this fired up in a long time. The surprise victory from Fandango. Is he about to send a message? Going for that big swinging shot. He connects with a huge haymaker on Fandango. Could this be it? Tubby Emu goes for the big running high knee, but no, Fandango is able to get out of the way. Spinning heel. Nails him right in the back of the head. Tubby Emu goes down to the mat like a sack of bricks. And now Tubby Emu in the corner trying to ram his shoulder into Fandango and wear him down. Tubby Emu backing up Choo Choo Train. Nails him with a big running knee to the face as Fandango reeling. This could be it right here. Tubby Emu again. Goes for the big running high knee. He connects with the big running high knee. He usually follows this up right here with a brain buster. Brain Busta! Brain Busta! There it is. There's the Brain Busta on Fandango. His tubby's just got to pin him. But no. Tubby Emu is too tired. Fandango is able to recover. Is this the Super Fandango? Is Fandango getting the Fandangoing power from the universe? Is he about to go over? Nope. Tubby Emu stalking him, waiting for it. But no. Fandango, the first time in the history of the Tubinator. Fandango reversed it. The Tubinator has never been reversed until Fandango. So is Fandango going to be your next NXT champion? The move nobody's ever reversed. Fandango looking to hit his finisher. If he hits this one, it is over. No. Tubby Emu able to stop it. So for the first loss in a long time. But there it is. Tubby Emu. Fandango thought he had a shot, but he nails the Tubinator, middle of the ring, and that is going to be it. Tubby Emu is going to retain, but a game competitor, Fandango, came to play. And I'll be honest, that is more than 2.9. Fandango kicks. How the hell did Fandango kick out of that in this championship match? Is this a Fandango we've never seen before? I don't think anybody's ever kicked out of the Fandango out of the Tubinator, except for maybe El Hondero, who's a piece of shit anyway. This is the first person to beat me in a long time, the first person to kick out of my finisher, the first person to reverse my finisher. This is not a Fandango I am used to seeing, and I think Tubby Emu is a little uh, skeptical. He doesn't know what the hell is going on. Tubby Emu is resorting to a chair. I think he is confused as all hell as the referee grabs Tubby Emu. The ref is this a referee screw job? Fandango going for a finisher, but no, Tubby Emu barely avoiding it. And I think Tubby Emu's done. Tubby Emu, no. He lured Fandango in, and that's what he does. Tubby Emu was grabbed by the referee. And I think this is a referee screw job through and through. I think the referee tried to grab us. He tried to hit a finisher on us, but Tubby Emu nails the referee. He lays out the referee as Tubby Emu. Trying to go for Fandango. I think he was trying to use the chair, but the referee was on top of the chair. Tubby Emu reverses it, though. The referee back to his feet. Tubby taking time to celebrate. He's stalking Fandango, and there he is. He's got him up top. Tubinator, when the referee was distracted with those steel steps, and it may have took two Tubinators, but in the end, still, you're reigning 
defending NXT champion. Fandango was a game competitor, but in the end, Tubby Emu is victorious and still the greatest NXT champion you have ever seen. I am glad I allowed you to view my greatness as Tubby Emu moves on and still your NXT champion. You can see the celebration. Fandango caught a win out of nowhere. It was a fluke victory. Yes, he did reverse a finisher. He kicked out of a finisher. He gave it all he had, but in the end, all he had was not good enough and still your reigning defending NXT champion with an instant classic match as we move up the rankings, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to pound that like button. Until next time, we'll see you all later.